Hey, hey, this is Dee Dee with My Favorite Groomer, and we've got Katie here, which is a truck driver pet. She's on the road all year long, and uh, our truck driver friend, Doy, he found me on YouTube. So he really, really wanted to have her groomed by me, and he's out of Texas here, so we got, it took a few weeks, took like three weeks to get her in, and I can only imagine the truck driver's schedule. So uh, he's going to actually get a pair of clippers, I think and start doing some of the work himself. He has a pair of clippers that are real cheap, he said, and he is just tired of them. Doesn't get through the hair. So he's gonna buy a pair of clippers today as well to upkeep her on the road. And then he'll uh, swing through here every few months, I think. I can only imagine being a truck driver, how hard it is to like plan and schedule your pickups and drop-offs across the nation and be back for a groom time. So. I uh, appreciate him trying to get on schedule and really working with us to get to get in, get his Katie in. So she's like uh, 12. She'll be 13 in a couple months here. She's got a few teeth, not a lot. She was really hyper in the lobby, so I put her against the wall here, so in case she moves around too much. And we want to leave one-fourth inch on the body is what he said. And then he wants to maintain it well because she wears a harness to get in and out of the truck the whole time, which causes mats, he said. So I'm going to try the four guard down and see if that's where I want to be with the haircut or if it's going to be a seven down. All right, I've got a 40 on my clipper, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Let me get a before picture here. So like I say, when you are using a tool or something, you may or may not use the tool depending on how the dog behaves. So, so here I'm thinking I'm going to get the mini out. There we go. Here. You're okay. You're okay, sweetie. She's got that afraid of heights kind of feeling. I'm going to kind of just loop this around here. Don't know if it'll work. I can only try. Okay, try that. It's around her arm now. minis for her. Switch out now. Get your tin on there. I'll do a little bit of sanitary back here first.
You gotta stand up though. Stand up. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Something he also said was he wanted all the feet to be real close. Um, this, because on the road picking up cockleburrs. So what I'm gonna do is, eh, I guess I could just do the purple four guard, which is a one quarter inch. And we'll do what we have done, which is um, kind of seven down the leg here. Sometimes down to a ten, so we'll just see what, what how high we want to go. How.
standing up is so crucial to a haircut. You know, it's so crucial. You don't realize it, how much time you spend holding a dog up until you're doing it, and then you're like, why do they always lay down on you? Why do they always sit down on you? You know, it's so crucial. makes you wonder like all these years you've been we've been you me we all you do the first thing you want to do is teach a dog to sit <laughs> why is that where'd that come from not a groomer groomer we're not going to teach our dog to sit man I'm gonna come and do the legs in seven. That's what I'm gonna do. Since I've got her in this position here, I'm going to do that 10, uh, 10 blade, excuse me, in the armpit since it's matted. This is, this is dangerous, you know. You want to open it up so you don't nick, nick her armpit here since it's matted in there. Take my tin on the bottom part of the top of her feet. My wrist has been bothering me, so twisting it, looping it around left and right is not working out all that great for me today. Right in the joint there. Seems to be slowing me down a little bit. Still got my tin blade, so I'm gonna come into this armpit first. Okay, I'm not because I can't see anything. So let me take the legs down first. Let's see.
All right, let's get our tin blade back out here. Come back in now and really look at the knots in your armpit. Armpits are very, very tough area not to nick. I had a groomer work for me, nicked both armpits. That was her last day. Um, not because she nicked both armpits, but how she handled the situation. Never scissor the armpits, ever. I need you to stand up now. Come back on top again with the tin, with those paws here. I noticed with the sudden, if I'm moving too fast for her, she goes down like a pancake. So I'm trying not to do that. And then her head here. Let me try this too. Leave her here. Let's see what we can get. I like her ears, man, but let's take take the head down a little bit. There's not enough uh, control of the head. You can see how hard it is in the sense of them moving their head, looking down. Okay, all right, let's see here. All right, we can go to the back. At least maybe I'll do her nails before we do that. But she's Maltese Yorkie is what her mix is. Okay, this is real loose. Let me tighten that up just in case. You never know on the nail trim especially. Hey, you get first thing she do is give me some kisses. You see this? Let me take a look, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere.
It's kind of ripped out already. It's okay. No, no. No, no. No, stop. All right, you can see, look how long these nails are, man. That's pretty long right there. They're pretty long right there. That's how much I took off. All right. Oh yeah, we are looking fresh. You can kind of see some stuff here. It's just different colors here. Oh, and her coat. Yeah, look at you. I like her ears, you know. Alright, let's get your face mask on. Don't forget, wear your face mask, you guys. We'll get our four guard back on here. Really soft here. So soft. Love it. Love it that soft. Extremely soft. Is that soft?
All right, go ahead and get your seven back on there. Get your shaper brush out and then your 8.5 shooter probably. You could probably get away with doing it if you have the 7. I don't use a 7 very often.
We'll come back in here with the tin a little bit. Up in here. Get your bubble tip here. Just come in here. I don't really need to shave down her muzzle. Her muzzle is not in tough shape for any shape, like shaving down the muzzle in general. Get this eye booger stuff <laughs> here. I can't believe you're like 12, 13 years old. Yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah. Oh. Just take that little bit out of there. Hey. 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 Check your ears real fast here. Do some cologne. I mean, even conditioner. side. Let me see your face, sweetie. She's got a real long nose, real long snout. Let me see here. She does like to pull that off. There's a little, just a, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Can you see it? Okay, girl, come on. Come on, Katie, I need to get all that out of your mouth. It's, this might not look the same as the other side, but I wanna, she might do this because she has more teeth on the other side, less teeth on this side. So let's clean that up. The less hair in the mouth, the less damage it does to the teeth. Yeah, see she's missing some teeth there. 
That's why she's got a different kind of pull on her mouth here. That's what happens. Let me see. Let me see here. Good girl. Got that all out of there. Yeah. I had to, I had to make that tight to make you look up first. Hmm? Let me see this right here. You're gonna trim like this and not use your guard to make sure you're careful like, about the wrinkles that are there. She has extreme underbite, so you want to make sure you keep all that clean for her teeth there. Okay. Make sure you're aware of that. Okay. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. Let me double check some the things so I need to bring her back down a little bit. She wants to flip her ear the other way. That's okay. Are you flipping your ear?
to our leave in, or leave in conditioner, we also did the Rainforest Cologne, my favorite. So I'm catering to this this thing she does here. She sucks in all the hair on that side. I'm catering to that. Because she does not do it to this other side, so. That way, all that hair doesn't create a problem. Nope. All right, Katie, thanks for coming in. You're just a gem. Yes, you are. You did great, girl. Thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy with my favorite groomer. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much, Katie's dad, Doy, for coming on out and letting me groom your dog. I know you're a truck driver and it's really tough to get on schedule and stay on schedule, so I really appreciate you keeping your appointment and coming out and giving us a try. If you liked what you saw and everything that we used, you can check out myfavoritegroomer.com. Uh, make sure you like the video, share the video, and subscribe so you get the notification bell also so you get notifications on the videos that come out, especially if we're doing a live session. Every, all the tools that I use can be found on MyFavoriteGroomer.com. We use the Andis 5-speed, 10-blade, 7-blade, 4-guard, a couple different guard choices out there that you can go with. Just make sure it does fit the one you're buying. And if you're ordering from me, then the guards that I sell do fit the Andis blades that we use and the Oster blades as well. So you're gonna use a 10, 15, or a 30 blade to put that attachment comb onto it, which is also called a guard. So we use a four guard on the body and a two guard reverse on the head. And we use the 8.5 shear curved, as well as a 40 blade on the pads. A large bristle brush and a comb are essential to any dog ownership. So if you need any of those tools, we appreciate you supporting where you're learning and where you Supporting where you're learning and supporting what you love. All right. You ready? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Come on. You can't leave, Saki. Hey. Oh, you look good. You look good. Hey, how do I don't look, Dad? You look a lot better. Yeah. That's that's perfect. Is that she, perfect? Yeah, she'd be great for the summertime. Yeah. The, and the. Uh... Awesome. And what was it? 50 minutes, 40, 48 minutes, something like that? Yeah, great. Yeah, thanks great. a lot for finding us. The other deal's all day. All day. Go to PetSmart, leave them there that morning. It's a three-hour job. You get them back around 3 o'clock that afternoon. Wow. So, and I didn't want her with her IBD. I didn't want her to be in the cage that long. Cool. So That's yeah, awesome. That's perfect. You just waited outside, right? Yeah. We went right outside. Well, thank you so much, Joy. Thank you got you. anything? To, you, are you happy? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Say yeah. thanks. Buy, thanks for buying the clippers. Are you ready to go? <laughs> so, uh, <yep. laughs> All right. Thank you so much. All right.